Oh, good, it's open. Notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Okay then. Back again, are you? Any more trouble, and you'll be barred for life. However deep your friend's pockets might be. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry about that. The same drapes fang is gone. The whole mother crystal gone. What are we gonna do? Calm yourself. We don't know for sure. It could have just been a tremor. Don't know for sure, Brett. You could just go and look. It's hard to miss. Welcome. If you're hoping for a bed, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. One of our wealthier patrons has purchased the use of every room, hoping to keep out the riffraff, as he puts it. Wow. As you do. I think that's the person we're looking for. Is he going to be up here? The conveniently only open room. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined. Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oath this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not. No. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell. And best of luck. Thanks. Finally, someone with a little bit of confidence in me. Well, at least now we get to finally go to this uh, bandit's bed. It's the place up in the top north, right? Up here? No. Here. Yeah. Okay. And Brosia, my love. Let's ride. Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia. Run like the wind. We may just head straight there. Unless we see something worth fighting. For the most part. We'll just head straight there. I feel like we spent a fair amount of um, time in the desert looking for that Adamantois Notorious Mark, so. Luckily, most of the uh, creatures around here are uh, chocobos, so. And I have no interest in slaughtering any of those, so. Yo. 
doing? Oh, okay. No one tries to ambush me. <laughs> Little flap. Okay, time to go. Ambrosia. You deserve a rest. You do. <laughs> Meanwhile, these deserve to burn. <laughs> Trying to ambush me. <laughs> and I'm toggle. It's just too easy. We'll run the rest of the way. Man as well. It's only around the corner. Grab this item. Oh. Yoink. This is the bandit's bed. <laughs> it's a couple of tents. The innkeeper. Come on, lads, let's tear the bastards. Not as terrible. Off. That, however, wasn't. No spell casting allowed. Uh oh. Damn, dodged one and got hit by the other. Not today. Don't know why I'm going for this guy though, because this guy is gonna be a problem. No healing for you. Decimated. It's me and you, big guy. You missed. Did that way too early. Even saw it coming. Not this time. You would have thought. Staggered. Oh, that's the new one. I was like, what? Finish him with this. Wait, no, this won't finish him. But this will. 99. Enemy slain. I'll take those. This must be Ignax's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Dalamil. Let's. Oh, good. It skipped the journey. <laughs> I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. <laughs> well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that. <laughs> it was made in the Outer Isles, far beyond the Twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke, and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? Ha <laughs> fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. Ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone, then ten thousand more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. 
The secret ingredient. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself, and a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. <gasps> so it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. Are there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis, Lord Byron Rosfield, <laughs> and is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Good job I didn't tell him my real name. If you knew I was related to Byron. Things may not have gone very well. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Let's. I love how he just happened to have the exact stone we needed on his person. Well, let's go cheer up Blackthorn. Let's go through all that effort to make a blade that once you've used it once, yeah, you may defeat your enemy, but then if you use it a second time, it breaks. No, thank you. Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sword then? I did better than that. I... a whetstone? Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. Let me explain. <laughs> No wonder I couldn't get the same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <laughs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. <laughs> but finishing our blades with a whetstone this fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing, for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, Sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still be here when you're long gone. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one. August 2. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Ooh. Quest complete. And a new blade on the horizon. I look forward to it. Excalibur? Bruh, what do you mean? 
We get Excalibur? Excalibur recipe unlocked. My kind of blade. Well, I got him. Blackthorn. What does it take? What do you want? You know what I want. Okay, they're both um, notorious mark items. Scarletite too, so carefully using that. Um, forty-three stagger, twenty-eight attack. Damn. Just the fact that I'd be running around with Excalibur would be enough for me. Um, nothing new, but... Well, anything that takes Scarlet Eye, I'm not going to want to use. So... Anything else? It's not the only thing left. Yeah, there is. So I think it's mid. It's in mid's dungeon, so I'm assuming it's her. Or it's at least someone down there. That's what we're calling it now. I thought it'd be like engineering room or something. It's nope. Mid's dungeon. Not what I'd expect if I was to be invited to mid's dungeon. I'd be like, oh, hello. Yeah, I had a feeling it wasn't going to be her. Well, that's it then. I'm buggered. You're buggered. Not for long. Here, Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother. If you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the Chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit, it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Why not? I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! <laughs> So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hump board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Thanks. Quest accepted. Weird science. No. Oh, I didn't prioritize it, but I'm sure we'll survive. What can I say? I am pretty good at handling flaming balls. <laughs> so is this going to be added to it now? This wasn't one of the ones that was already on the board, right? I'm assuming this is going to be a new one added to it. One up, Nectar. Are you on the Humboldt for a bomb, King Kubo? If so, I have a billet that might interest you. Thanks. The Bomb King. He's even got a crown. <laughs> Curse Breaker, aiming for the Imperial Chase, took a wrong turn into a nearby wood, within which she discovered the ruins of a fallen airship, and within them, a beast akin to a great ball of fire that chased her screaming from the grove. The soldier later identified the creature in an almanac of echoes, but was firm in her insistence that the bomb she saw was near ten times the size of the one depicted therein. The croc in Sambrek. 
Huh. The croc. Does not ring a bell. Unless it's one of those, like, non-named areas. Um, we'll speak with Otto in a moment. Is this August? Oh, no, it isn't. Hey, Gav. Is that you done, then? It's not roped you into building the rest of the board, has she? I think he said that last time. Um, yeah, we'll do this first. Um, but I have no idea where this is. Uh, what was it? The croc? Um, the croc. Have we not been there? Unless it's up here. Unnamed chapel. Is that because I haven't been there? And if I go there, will it be named? What's the chance of it being named? What I'm looking for. Um... Huh. Well, there's nowhere else, right, other than here. Otherwise, it'd show me a path. Unless that leads to somewhere that also leads to somewhere. But I think this is the entire of Sam Breck, right? Because the Aurobel Downs is there. I oh, know, I suppose. Because Auroflam's not on here. Because all these are, right? Yeah, all these are on the same map. I don't think we can ever go to Oroflam, though. Um, I don't know. Because there is no other kind of paths leading up. So the only place it can be is through here. And I don't know when we go through there. So we may have to leave this for now. Which is rather tiresome. But nothing can be done. Let me just confirm. It was the... The crook, right? Or the croc? What was it? What up, little man? Um... I don't know if I have to go through this to get to it, but... The croc. Sam Breck. Hmm... If we compare it to that, so Clairview, the jaw, for example. What are the map? Um Clairview is not a big area. Clairview is Wait, where is Clairview? Am I blind? Huh? Wait, no, this is Rosaria. Wait, no, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Am I an idiot? I thought Clairview was in Sambra. Um, yeah, Clairview's like the grey area. And then if we go to here, the jaw's the grey area as well, right? Yeah. So, are they all grey areas? Well, it's none of the grey areas, say, the croc, so. And it'd say it there. My main point of this was if the areas are ever like these smaller 
nicknames you've got to zoom in on. I don't know if they ever are. Oh, this is tiresome. I mean, either way, I can't see um, the croc anywhere on the map, so I think it is just the simple case that I haven't reached that area yet. But my only concern is there's only one part of Sambrek I haven't been to, if I'm understanding the map correctly. All these are kind of named areas. So... Although, the one I just saw then, the one that was west of um, Care Northern, um, it doesn't. It's not actually called that. It's just west of Care Northern, and I could guess. But this doesn't say a direction. It just says the Croc. So I mean, it could be anywhere. In case I'm missing it. Nope. It's not in the Royal Meadows. No. I'd say the only chance then is that it is going to be a smaller named place like this, but in this area. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, and I don't know when we go there. Because it's down here? Because that's there. So this is down here. So I imagine we don't go there. Until maybe we're going here? I don't know. Huh. How tiresome. Well, I guess we just can't do it. I'm not going to waste any more time on it. Uh. I guess we'll just keep an eye out for a place called that, and I guess we are talking to Watto for now. Alright, Clive. Astrid. We'd finished sending half the hideaway troops in across the twins, as she. I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She. did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Mid. I might still be able to catch her. She's done a runner? Mid told me she was building a ship. Is that the thing Toes helped? Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a bunch. Going that way. Then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. Wasn't exactly in a rush to give it me. What tidings, uncle? He was just standing there? A request for assistance. 
My dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strongbox with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the free cities, by which I learned of the endeavours of a certain young friend of yours. Though I for one believe Miss Telemon's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canverian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorised use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumour has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav. From Uncle Rosfield, so he wants Gav. Troubling Canver. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Med. She been up to no good. A perfect man to keep an eye on someone. <laughs> so what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. <laughs> Where everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. <laughs> Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. I was going to say. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Jill would never lie to us. I was wondering though. We did say we'd take Jill on our next adventure. Oh, everything else is uh, inaccessible. Fine by me. To the old hideaway we go. Oh no, Sid's legacy. Central Storm Deadlands. The dust long settled, little remains of the once bustling refuge many called home. To Sid's legacy we go. Sid's legacy, Central Storm. Oh, he's got a little flower. Sid, I remember what you told me, but if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend, Hugo Cooker is gone, his shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Except himself. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. As slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? We? Oh. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. I'm tearing up.
The theme and everything. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> New party member. There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet you there. See you down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? The trio's back together. Do you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. Oh, Sid, would be proud. Okay, so from Sid's little grave to Leitney's Cleft, Eastern Dalmechia, a narrow pass through otherwise impassable mountains thought to have been torn from rock by the very gods themselves. Sounds fancy. Well, I assumed we would be uh, heading somewhere a little bit closer to here, but I guess we use this. I don't, I'm not sure if we're going into no man's land or if we're going around here and we're going to see this thing. But we'll find out. Let's go. 